Voodoo Whiskey Gaming, and this is my late review of Final Fantasy XII. I played it on the PS4, and that's really what it's available on. Technically, it's called Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age, but whatever. So the reason I'm reviewing this game, even though it's just an HD re-release, is A, it's an HD re-release of a game that came out on the PS2, so it's been a long frickin' time. Secondly, it's a game that I wanted to give another try to because when it initially came out, I didn't really enjoy it as much as I did other Final Fantasies. And I was curious to see, now that I'm older, considerably older, if I would enjoy it now. So as for the story, this is one of the only Final Fantasy games that is not like a spin-off that takes place in the Final Fantasy Tactics world of Evilis outside of a Final Fantasy Tactic game. Which means there are different races beyond the humans and races that you may not have seen in other numbered Final Fantasy games. The thing about this game is it's a political thriller, essentially. The story is very, very politically inspired, and while there is magic and magical items throughout the story, it's not just your stereotypical villainy. It's more or less about a group of people who are kind of trapped in a nation that is stuck between two much larger nations that are at war with one another. And the characters like Vaughn and Pinello are orphans due to this war. Then you've got Ash, who is technically the princess, but she isn't known to be the princess because of all sorts of political shit. You've got Bosch, the supposed traitor. Then you've got Balthier and Fran, who are both sky pirates. The problem being is some of these characters don't really have a good reason for doing what they're doing. Bosch and Ash, obviously it makes sense. Balthier has a few reasons of his own, though I won't go into them because it could be spoilerish. And Fran being attached to Balthier, well, that's basically her reason. Whereas Vaughn and Pinello, who are the first two characters you're introduced to, don't have a real reason. And, I mean, I haven't beaten the game yet, it's too big of a game for me to beat in a week in review, but... I have yet to see a good reason for them to do so. At best, Pinello is Vaughn's best friend, so she follows him, and Vaughn wants to become a sky pirate, so he follows Balthier. Unfortunately, story-wise, I mean, it's a political thriller, and I am older, and I understand it much better. Still not insanely interesting. It doesn't really grab me. And unfortunately, none of the characters do either. They're not gripping characters. I'm not truly invested in any of them. As for the audio, the sound effects work very well. The voice acting is excellent. I definitely think it's top notch. But I will say that I feel like they re-recorded a few things for this game. They're not like main lines, but they are things that I notice where Balthier or Fran don't seem to use the same voice actor for certain smaller things. Like the character of Fran and Balthier both have very unique accents and then when I'm performing their limit breaks and they say something, it doesn't sound like it's in that same accent. Now, with any Final Fantasy game, the soundtrack is generally amazing and that's no different here. The soundtrack is absolutely fantastic in this game. And one of the cool things about this re-release is it's not just a re-release because they actually re-recorded with a full orchestra the entire soundtrack. You can choose to turn it off and have the original soundtrack. Why you would do that, I don't know. It sounds fantastic. It's songs I know and have heard before, but better. A much better quality. Let's jump into the gameplay and whatnot, and to say the least, that is a huge change from the original to the Zodiac Age. I mean, you still level up and you still have the license board system, which a lot of people didn't enjoy. And the license board system, for anyone who doesn't know, is a board system where you unlock tiles and that unlocks skills and occasionally health boosts, attack boosts, etc. But in the original game, it was a very unfocused thing, or at least in the American version. The Zodiac Age is the international version, which is really cool because it also introduces job systems and license boards attached specifically to those job systems. You can also do two jobs per character. So example, my Vaughn was a knight slash monk and I had access to two license boards for those. Whereas in the first one, it wasn't really well specified and there was a lot of wasted tiles because you were ended up sinking points into crap you didn't need. So it was kind of hard to specify roles for your characters in the party. That having been said, the roles are not necessarily well fulfilled by the class system in this game. I say that because Vaughn is a main part of my 
party, but as the knight, he's supposed to be my tank, and he doesn't seem to have an ability that can just draw the attention of the enemies so that they sit there and beat on him. So that's kind of frustrating, but overall, I think it works well. It works definitely way better than the original Final Fantasy XII. Then you've got the battle system, which this is wholly unique to Final Fantasy XII, and they never really did it again. And that is, you have three people who are active, and they can basically walk around freely, and you can move them freely as you want to. You can target specific enemies, move around them however you want, move closer to them, further from them, and then select your attacks. You can also set up gambits for each of them, which, if you've ever played a Kingdom Hearts game, it's similar to what you do with Donald and Goofy. It basically is a set of automated commands that you can customize for your party members. You can also customize them for whoever your party leader is. So you can basically put your party leader on autopilot, which sounds like you're taking away from the game and there is a certain lack of interactivity at that point, but it does allow you to control every party member very freely in this open system. I guess a lot of people didn't really like the battle system in 12. I personally really enjoy it. Honestly, it's one of the things in 12 that I probably enjoy the most. I really enjoy the battle system in this game. Then you've got the controls for the battle system, and I think they work very, very well. The moving around is easy, responsive. The cameras are also very easy and responsive to manipulate. It's not like you move it slightly and it jerks all the way around. It works very well. Selecting your enemies and selecting commands and all of that. It works excellently. It's not a problem in this game. Okay, so lastly, the graphics. This is the way an HD game should be done. I mean, the only thing that could have made this better is if they were to go back and basically graphically rebuild the game from, like, the ground up to look like Final Fantasy XV, but, I mean, I understand why they wouldn't do that. It'd be extremely time-consuming, it might not be financially efficient, so I understand why they didn't do that. But what they did do is clean up the line. Because we're talking about a game that came out on the PS2, a console that was made for ye olde tube TVs, basically. Like old CRT monitor style TVs. So, so very, very far from HD or even widescreen. But once you throw this game in and just the opening cutscene alone, you're looking at this and you're like, ah, oh, shit, this looks really, really clean. And I really appreciate that because I do think that that's an important thing to do with an HD re-release. They took a game from the PS2 era and basically cleaned it up, put it at a solid resolution. It's definitely quality resolution and the lines are clean. It looks good. And it's still a good looking game overall. Cleaning up the lines really helped. As far as HD re-releases go, I think it looks very very good. At the end of the day, it's an enjoyable game, but unless you're a hardcore fan, I don't know that I'd recommend it, and I know there's a lot of hardcore fans out there who just didn't enjoy it for a variety of reasons. I personally think the battle system is excellent, and I think that's one of the few reasons to really enjoy this game. But when it comes to like story and characters, I think that is definitely lacking. So I don't really fault people for wanting to skip this. I personally would say if you're die hard, feel free to pick it up, but if you're not a die-hard Final Fantasy fan, you're free not to. Okay, so in the comments below, why don't you tell me if you've played the original Final Fantasy XII? And as always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. And if you like what I'm doing in general, share, subscribe. Have a good one.